Clackamas, Multnomah, and Washington counties are tied together by the governor as we move forward in reopening during the pandemic. But with Multnomah County now on the state watch list for more potential restrictions, Coyne wants to know if leaders in the other two counties want to cut that tie. Yeah, Lindsay Nadrich asked that question. And what did you find out today, Lindsay? Yeah, well, as COVID cases continue to go up, some counties are doing better than others. That's why Clackamas County says it no longer wants to be tied to Multnomah and Washington counties. Multnomah County was the last to open for phase one, but it's now the first in the Tri-County area to be on the state's watch list for an increase in COVID-19 cases that can't be traced to a specific source. Bad news for Washington and Multnomah counties whose fates are tied together. Clackamas County Chair Jim Bernard says he wants that to change. We would like to be uncoupled, untethered with Multnomah and Washington County. Uh, Right, you know, because I think we're doing a great job in Clackamas County. If Multnomah County were to get rolled back, he doesn't think Clackamas should have to do the same. Definitely uh, rolling back, I do not think that's fair. He also said he wants to have a conversation with the governor before any decisions are made. I think that if Clackamas County continues to do better and better and better, and the other ones continue to do worse and worse, which they aren't necessarily doing that, then I think it's time to, to move Clackamas County to phase two. Washington County Chair Catherine Harrington told us they don't want to roll back either, but said we're all in this together, pointing to how often people travel between counties daily. Well, as people, as supporters of businesses, no one wants to go back. But at the same time, none of us want to see any more people dying or suffering. Clackamas leaders said 60 to 70 percent of their residents leave the county for work. That's also why Governor Brown's office told me Thursday the three counties will continue to be evaluated as one region. A spokesperson for the governor's office said if county leaders want businesses to stay open, they need to be doing everything they can to make sure people are wearing masks, physical distancing, and following all health guidelines. The three county chairs sent a letter to the governor's office Monday asking for more funding to help them do that. They have yet to hear back. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Nadrich, Point Six News. Clark